Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and today of course as you can clearly see we are continuing our study on the kingdom fungi and we are looking at the characteristics of fungi okay so we have done some previous episodes on kingdom fungi if you have not watched those episodes please go back and watch them and then join us in this class interesting class is good I promise it to be and of course I'm going to take questions, past questions from Jam, from the O3 School Jam app. Do not forget this video tutorial, of course, is sponsored by the O3 School Jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. Trust me, if you have that app, you have passed your exam. You have passed your exam if you study with it and practice with it. So many of you get resource materials and do not use them to, to prepare for your exam. It's bad, all right? So getting the app, we what? We afford you the opportunity to what? To practice past questions on the app, practice likely exam questions on the app, some wonderful features like the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes and take text after studying each lecture note so that you know the kind of question that Jam can set under any topic on their syllabus. Also, we have the question search feature where you can search for question by topic and all the questions that Jam has sent under that topic will come out for you to answer. Or is it the UTME challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in Jam for this particular year? Or you compete with your mates, you win prizes, you get used to how Jam set that question, you build confidence towards the main exam. That uh, challenge is conducted every week till one week to the till one week to the main jam exam you do not want to miss out on this app so go to play store right now download that app okay once you have downloaded the app you need to activate as at the time of shooting this video activation is just three thousand naira okay so please get the app activate it click on activate after downloading the app and at, at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key so click on buy activation key you will see three options you can pay online with your atm card you can transfer to the o3 schools app account and immediately you have made your payment you can send the receipt to this number on whatsapp 09121 so once you send your receipt just be patient, you get a reply, and your app will be fully activated for you to use. There's nothing like scam here. Nobody will want to scam you 3,000 naira and be doing this kind of ethical work for you, all right? So please, just focus on passing your exam at once. That is the most important thing to you. Pass your exam at once. You do not want to write jam twice, trust me. Okay, so let's go to characteristics of fungi, okay? So... Number one, we are seeing here that fungi, okay, so we have notes for you in case you want to write them out. That's why we, that's why we, we, we employ this format of teaching this biology so you can get notes, you can read them again because top subjects like biology are, are subjects you need to read again and again, okay? Apart from gaining the understanding, you need to read them again and again. That's the way you study for your exam, okay? So now, fungi are eukaryotic, okay? We have seen it before. We said they are what? They are eukaryotic. That means they have what? A definite nucleus. They have a definite nucleus and membrane-bound organelles, okay? And we say they are non-vascular. They are not vascular. They are non non-vascular. This means that they do not have they do not have specialized tissues. They do not have specialized tissues for the transport of what? Minerals. For the transport of food, okay? And other what mineral what resources that they need, okay? So they do not have what specialized tissues like humans now. We have veins. We have things that what transport food for us around our body. But Fungi do not have that. They are non vascular. Okay, they lack specialized tissues for the transportation of what? Of food and water, mineral, and other water resources. Okay, so now they are non motile also. As you can see here, they are non motile. M O T I L E. By non motile, we mean that by themselves, they, they, they cannot by themselves actively what move from one place to another. Okay, so fungi cannot move from one place to another actively. So that's why they have what? Uh, uh, we have what? Those filamentous or structures. That's why they have those what high five. Okay, the high five. Uh, they move by what? By by the growth of what? Of the hypha and what? And their filamentous or what structure. So they spread and then what? They search world for nutrients. Okay? So that is how what they can move. So they are usually what? They do not actively by themselves. They cannot move. Okay? Actively from one place to another. They what? They grow and move by the growth of their hypha and their filaments. Okay? So as they move, they spread around to search for what? For nutrients and what? And other resources. And then we say, of course, that they are heterotrophic. So that's why I say fungi are used are what are eukaryotic they are non-vascular they are non motile and they are what heterotrophic so they do not have chlorophyll they cannot manufacture their own food they feed on dead decaying organic matter so that is the first point as you can see under the characteristics of what of fungi all right so we are moving forward we say they may be unicellular or, or multicellular 
Oh, or oh, what filamentous? Okay, we know what filamentous. What do you mean by filamentous? Mean that they have thread-like or structures. Okay, so they may be unicellular, like the yeast cell, and what they can be, what they can be filamentous. Okay, so we say they reproduce by means of spores. They reproduce asexually by the what? By the means of what? Or spores. So what they do is that they release those spores. Those spores are what are protected by a thick wall. Okay, by a thick or cell wall. So when they release those spores. Then they what they they release them to the environment for them to go and thrive. All right, so they release those spores, those spores which are protected by thick cell wall, and then the what they what they release them to go and to go and thrive. Okay, they do not incubate them. There's no embryonic stage. Okay, so they do not sleep on them. Maybe you let it hatch, make a ready for four months. So they just will release them to the atmosphere, to the environment for them to go and what and thrive. Okay, so they reproduce by means of what or spores. Now, say fungi is be the phenomenon of alternation of what of generation. Okay, by by that we mean that what the, the, the stages in their what in their life cycle. Okay, so that's what we mean. The phenomenon of what of alternation of what of generation from maybe sexual reproduction to asexual reproduction and so on. Okay, now fungi lack chlorophyll, like we have said before, they do not have a chlorophyll and hence cannot perform photosynthesis. Okay, they cannot perform what photosynthesis like what like plants will do. Okay, so. So now, fungi store food in the form of starch. In the form of starch, you mean what? In form of what? In form of what? Glycogen. G L Y, glycogen. Okay? They store food in the form of what? Of glycogen. Okay? So please do not forget that. They store food in the form of starch. That is what? Glycogen. All right? So please. Take note of that and take note of that very well. All right, now, biosynthesis of chitin occurs in what? In fungi. They have what? Chitin, all right? Then, of course, you have the nuclei of the fungi that are very small. The nuclei is very, very well, very, very, very what? Small, all right? And then the nuclei, uh, okay, sorry, number nine. And they say the fungi has no embryonic stage, like we said initially. We said they do not have what? The embryonic, embryonic stage. So they, there's no development of what? Of embryo, okay? In the, in the what? In the fungi, okay? So they develop from what? From spores. They release, all those, they release those spores to the environment to go and try, all right? Then, of course, number 10, we say the mode of reproduction is sexual or what? Asexual, okay? So I'm going to what? See reproduction in fungi very soon and then we'll understand very well the what? The modes of what? Of reproduction for the what? For the fungi, okay? Okay, then of, of course, of course, we have number 11 here. Some fungi are parasitic, okay, and can infect what the host. Some fungi are what, in fact, fungi have what benefits and they have what uh, the merits, okay. So please take note of that. So they are both what helpful and what and harmful, okay. So I can say that some fungi here are what are parasitic. An example of a fungi that are parasitic is one we call cordyceps. Cordyceps, okay, this cordyceps. What they do, uh, they are also called zombie, zombie fungus, uh, zombie like fungus, zombie like fungus. These cordyceps are also called zombie like what fungus. They infect what? They infect uh, insects and ants. Uh, they infect insects like what? Like ants and spider. Okay? They infect insects like what? Ants and what? And spider. So, fungi, fungi are what? Are parasitic. Some of them are parasitic, parasitic and can infect what? The host. Excuse me. So now, <laughs> number 12, fungi produce a chemical called pheromone. P-H-E, please take note of this. Fungi produce a chemical called pheromone. P-H-E-R-O-M-O-N-E, which leads to sexual reproduction in fungi. So, like for humans now, we have what oratory communication. Like I can communicate to you now, and you can hear me, you can understand. So fungi, they do not have that kind of what oratory what communication. So what they do is what they use what this pheromone. Okay. So for both what sexual reproduction, they they, 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 they release this chemical, this uh, uh, chemical called pheromone, pheromone, and then what other fungi, they will, they will understand it. So they install what to, to, it, it is to install communication between what them and other other what or, uh, other species, okay, of fungi. So that is what they use pheromone. Okay, is to what to install communication and what and behavioral bio, changes. Okay, in what in the fungi was species. Okay, now I say examples include the mushroom, the moss, the yeast, the truffles, and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are what the characteristics of what 
of the fungi. Okay, should we go over them again? We say they are eukaryotic, non-vascular, non-motile, and heterotrophic. We say they may be unicellular or filamentous, and say that they reproduce by means or spores. Okay, we say fungi is a bit the phenomenon of alternation of generation. Then we said fungi lack chlorophyll and hence cannot perform photosynthesis. And we said that fungi store food in the form of glycogen. All right. Then of course we said but synthesis of chitin occurs in fungi. So the nuclei of the fungi are very small. They have a very small nuclei. And we said that the fungi have no embryonic stage. They develop from spores. Okay, we say the mode of reproduction is sexual or asexual. And we say, well, some fungi are parasitic and can infect what? The host. Like, example, we mentioned the word the cordyceps. Okay, also called the zombie, zombie-like fungus. Zombie, zombie-like fungus. Okay, oh, okay, so that is that. Then we say, what? Uh, some fungi are parasitic and can infect the host. We say some Fungi produce a chemical called pheromone for what? For communication between them and other species, which leads to sexual reproduction in what? In fungi. So when they release this pheromone, we humans, we don't see it too. Well, of course, they themselves don't understand what is what, uh, what it is. Okay, so examples include mushroom, molds, and yeast. Okay, so now we'll go to the O3 schools jump app. Like I've told you that it is all you need to succeed in your exam. I'm going to take questions from the app, and of course, I'm going to display this question, and I'm going to answer them together before the end of this class. So now let me get my app from my phone. All right, so this is my app. Uh, this is my phone now, and then, of course, I'm uh, trying to get the questions from the app. Okay, so this is a 2005 uh, question, number three. 2005, number three. Okay, and it has been displayed on uh, on the screen right now. They said, the high file wall of fungi is rigid owing to the presence of what? Of cheating. We so said that the high file wall, there was that uh, fungi have what? Cheating. Okay, so the high file wall of fungi is rigid owing to the presence of what you call what? A cheating. Okay, so for example, is what? Is, is, um, option A, rather say cell wall, presence of what? Cell wall, which is not, they say B, lignin, C, cellulose, D, cheating. So cheating is responsible for the rigid nature of the high file wall. Please take note of that. The, 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 the high file wall is very rigid because of what? Of the presence of what? Of cheating. All right, so that is uh, 2005 number three. Now let's see 2004 number six. Uh, 2004, number six, it has been displayed now. Said the most common characteristics of the fungal hyphae is the possession of, of course, A, they say cell like compartment with one nucleus each, which is very wrong. They say B, they contain what? The possession of what? Cell walls that are both rigid and what? Chitinous. That is one of the most common characteristics of the world of fungal what? Hi-fi. Okay? They have what? A cell wall that are what? That is both rigid and what? And chitinous. And they see, they say, a multicellular mycelium in the substrate. Then D, they say, cell-like partitions formed by cross walls. Okay? And of course, the correct answer there would be B, possession of cell walls that are both rigid and chitinous. Then let's take the last question. And there are so many questions on the app, so please download the app. Make sure you activate and make sure you start with practicing immediately. So number, this is a 2012 question, number seven. Said the fungi are a distinct group of eukaryotes. Okay, mainly because they have A, they say spores. Okay, they say they are distinct group of eukaryotes mainly because they have A, they say they have spores. B, they say they have no chlorophyll. C, they say may many fruiting bodies, then D, they say sexual and asexual reproduction. Okay, so uh, for example, the, the, the thing you need to understand is that the answer here would be what would be B, no chlorophyll. Okay, they are distinct because they do not have what chlorophyll because many species have what uh, they, 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 they release, they have what spores. Okay, many have many fruiting bodies, many species have a uh, fruiting body. Okay, then many produced by what sexual and asexual reproduction, but the fungi is very distinct because it does not have chlorophyll. So it, it cannot what uh, 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 take part in what or do what or participate in what in photosynthesis. It cannot do photosynthesis like I said here in this option. We say, well, fungi lack chlorophyll and cannot perform they cannot perform photosynthesis that's what makes them distinct because a lot of other what uh, uh kingdoms many of them we have what we, we have uh, many of other species we have spores we have fruiting bodies we have we reproduce by sexual and asexual means but of course the most distinct one is that 
Fungi does not have what chlorophyll. They cannot perform photosynthesis. That's why the right answer there was will be option B. So please read questions and understand them and then be able to, want to pick what the right answer. All right. So this is where I'm going to stop under the characteristic of what of the fungi. In the next episode, I'm going to continue talking about the kingdom fungi. All right. And I would love to see you in that episode. Thanks for watching.